Hello, I'm Mira from Alaya Pilates. This class is part of a beginner series that I call Deep Dive into Pilates. This is a continuation uh, session of the tutorial that I created about the core. So if you haven't seen, watched the video, I encourage you to revisit the video so that you have a better understanding about the core. So let's begin. We're gonna start sitting excuse me, sitting in a diamond shaped lake, like so. I'm just gonna turn myself slightly diagonally so that you can see what's happening with my spine. You don't have to, you can just face the screen here. So sitting nice and tall as much as you can. Now interlace or collapse the hands, place them at the back of your head here. Okay, now let's find the alignment. I want you to just rest your head back into your hands slightly, okay? So you feel that you're sitting on the sit bone, the two bony landmarks on the pelvis, and then allow the spine to grow tall. Now the shape of the diamond of the leg is it's trying to replicate the um, pelvic floor. Remember the diamond shaped pelvic floor? Okay, so what I want you to do here, lateral breathing, Inhaling, expanding the ribs out to the side. Now as you exhale, think about that pelvic floor drawing up to the pelvic bowl. And then what's gonna happen here is I want you to think about the deep, the intrinsic back muscle, like a chevron-like position, chevron-like shape, muscularly, drawing up along the spine and Inhaling, lateral breathing. And then as you exhale again, pelvic floor drawing up and the energy grows up through that deep back muscles, up along the spine and through the head and out to the ceiling perhaps. And then repeat again, inhale. And then exhale. We lengthen up, lengthen up, lengthening up. Continue. Now I want you to think about more the elongation, but I want you to leave the shape of the bones alone. I'm talking about the spinal shape. We'll talk more about the, um, the neutral pelvis and the neutral spine in the next few tutorials. So again, we're inhaling and then exhale, drawing up that pelvic floor, allowing that back muscle to lengthen up. And then the next exhalation, I need to think about the transverse abdominis. You know, the corset-like muscle wrapping around the waistline, turning up that waist center. And inhale, exhale, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, and allow your shoulder to relax. And let's do two more times, inhale. And an exhale. Grow and grow even more. One more inhale and exhale. Keep lengthening up as tall as you can be and then let it go, but do not slouch, please. Let the arms down to the knees. Now, for me, I'm just gonna turn myself to the camera here. Now, let's explore that external oblique. I'm going to take my right arm off, which is your left arm. I want you to rotate the trunk back and then exhale. Draw that shoulder ribs down towards the opposite hip bone as you twist. Inhale. Rotating out. Exhale. Think about that external oblique closing. And inhale. Another imagery you can use is imagine there's an elastic band that stretch from that ribs, sorry, the hips onto the opposite ribs and perhaps the shoulder here. We'll take it a little bit longer. And then exhale, the elastic band is gonna contract, allowing the body to rotate. And then inhale, the elastic band is gonna stretch out. And then exhale, and twist. Two more, inhale. So this is your external oblique, and one more. Inhale, reach and rotate. Exhale, and let it go. 
opposite arm. Inhale, we rotate. And exhale, close that elastic band. Inhale. And an exhale. So thinking about the diagonal line, shoulder, rib cage, close the ribs to the opposite hips, but keeping that spine nice and tall still. And exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Your corset muscles still working hard here. Inhale. And exhale. And let it go. Now I'm going to turn myself facing the front of my mat. Still in a diamond-like shape. Hands underneath your thigh here. So nice and long and tall spine. Now as you exhale, I will need to then draw out that pelvic floor and then start working that lower rectus abdominis as you curl that pelvis back and then try to get that sacrum onto the floor, perhaps your lower back. You can use your arm a little bit here in breath. Exhale, drawing the abdominal in and come over forward. And then lift the spine, nice and tall, corset nice and tight. And then exhale, pelvic floor drawing up, lower rectus abdominis, drawing the pelvis back into the spinal flexion. Inhale. And exhale, rectus, abdominis, drawing yourself in to sitting up position, and then the back muscle starts to work to elongate the spine. And exhale, keep working on this, guys. Remember how I talk about the rectus, abdominis, it's like the soft spine of the body. And exhale, and it moves with the spine into flexion and then into extension. And repeat one more time. Exhale. Rolling back. In breath. Exhale. Scooping the abdominal in. Bring your body forward. And then lift the spine up tall. Last one. Let's take it all the way down to the floor. So you exhale. Rocking back into the C-curve, into spinal flexion. And then take yourself all the way down here. Okay, now adjust the feet so they are hip width apart. I'm just gonna roll my top so you can have a better view on the abs here. Now, let's work on what we call the scooping here. Okay, now let's try to create a neutral pelvis. I'm gonna, dis um, I'm going to discuss more on a neutral pelvis in the next tutorial, but let's tap on it, ver tap on it very briefly. Pubic symphysis, ASIS, draw a line, across three points there, you create a little triangle. Now, that triangle needs to be horizontal with the ground. Okay, so keeping that pelvis in that neutral as much as possible, I want you to inhale, again, lateral breathing. Now, as you exhale, again, draw that pelvic floor up along the elevator, and then the transabdominal is gonna wrap in the two external obliques gonna draw in towards the belly button here. So what's going to happen here, again, inhale, exhale. You're creating like a scooping sensation up towards the spine and along the spine. Now I want you to leave the bones alone. So no changing of the shape or the position of the bone here. Okay, just pure muscular engagement. So inhale and exhale, scooping up creating a little dent in the abdominal here, concave. And again, inhale and exhale. Again, leave the bones alone. Do not move the bones, just the abdominal, just the muscles. One more. And exhale. Okay, see if you can maintain that position. You can have your hands on your hips if you like. So as you breathe in, you're gonna slide the front leg down along the floor, but keeping that abdominal nice and stable. Exhale, drawing the legs in, maintaining the abdominal. And then inhale, same leg again. Stretch it out on the floor. Now, exhale, the transverse abdominal is working hard here. And the hip flexors muscle is pulling you in. Again, inhale. Remember, I talk about the hip flexors being part of your core. This is it, okay? And exhale. 
the abs muscles are working, the back muscles working to maintain the stability of the spine. And then as you stretch your leg out, the hip flexors muscle lengthen out. And then you pull it in, the hip flexors muscle contract to bring the leg, the thigh towards you. One more time, inhale. Try to do this with absolute stability in the spine here, guys. Exhale, drawing in onto the other leg. Same thing again, inhale, we stretch that leg away, scooping the abs in, exhale. And again, inhale. It may seem like you're not doing a lot, but it's a lot of work internally. That's what you want to do in Pilates, right? It's not about just feeling the burn the whole time. It's understanding the mechanism, how the body moves, you know, from the deep inside the body, right? So this is your core work. Exhale. Let's do two more. In a slide the leg away. Exhale, pelvic floor lifting up as the diaphragm releases up towards your rib cage. And one more, inhale. Exhale, maintaining the pelvic stability and the spinal stability. All right, moving on. And now here, I want you to exhale, drawing the abdominal, wrap the trans abdominus, and then lift the leg up. Again, the hip flexors muscles working here. The transverse abdominus, the abdominal muscles, the back muscle stabilizes the trunk, okay? And then move the leg as you inhale from the hip socket. Exhale. Inhale, psoas, iliacus, working here. Inhale, stabilize the trunk with the deep back muscle and with the abdominals. Exhale. Absolute stability in the pelvis and the spine. One more time, inhale down, exhale, up and release. Onto the other leg, please, and exhale, we pick it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale down, exhale, folding at the hip, inhale. Keep that pelvis absolutely stable, though, guys. And two more, and the last one. Hold the leg up there. The next breath up, take the other leg up. Good, now again, stabilize the pelvis. Um, Transverse abdominus, internal oblique, external oblique, rectus are working together with the back muscle, the deep back muscle, okay? One leg will go down as you inhale, hold it in. Exhale, change. Inhale, change. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, we call this the leg changes. Inhale, exhale, your core is working very hard here together. Inhale, exhale, two more sets, in breath. Exhale, last set, in breath. Exhale, bring the legs up to tabletop. One leg comes down, second leg comes down. Perfect, okay. Now, try to keep the pelvis as stable as possible. I want you to take your arms out in slight V position here. So, let's think about your external oblique from the rib cage down to the opposite hips, and then the other side on both sides, and then your rectus abdominis, your top rectus abdominis, okay? Right, so the chest lift, I'm gonna modify this. So, inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to draw the ribs down, and those action is going to lift the trunk up and cross your arms and the front here. So the X shape of the arms is going to mimic what's happening in the obliques here. The external, sorry, the external oblique wraps in towards the belly bend, hugging that belly bend in, and the upper rectus abdominis is drawing yourself up or flexing the spine up. And then inhale and up. Exhale, ribs, wrap the obliques, inhale, exhale, ribs in, draw the external obliques into the center, inhale, watch that you don't flare the ribs out, okay, and exhale, in breath, one more time, exhale, and an in breath, Okay, I'm gonna take my left hand, the back of my head, and lift my right arm in that V shape. Now, we're gonna do some chest lift with some oblique rotation. So we exhale, I'm gonna take my right arm across to the left, 
name and then return and try to get both shoulder blades off the floor and the right shoulder blade comes up a little bit more and an in breath and exhale and an in breath two more oblique works here last one and switch okay left arm long and exhale in breath and left external oblique to the left internal oblique sorry to the right left external oblique to the right internal oblique and two more and back last one and back well done now open your arms out to the t position press the back of your arms if you don't have space in your house at the moment just place them with an upside down v out to the side here okay i'm going to take my arms to the t position take your legs up to the tabletop one leg up hold that core second leg up squeeze the knees and the thighs together now pressing the opposite shoulder down i'm going to turn myself or rotate my spine towards you so which is my left and my inhaling opposite right shoulder down to the floor and exhale draw the obliques in and again inhale over to the other side and exhale keeping the knees nice and tight together your thigh muscles are squeezing in the midline exhale and in breath imagining the cross the x shape the x letter x shape in front of the abdominal here wrapping the abdomen tight exhale one more and exhale well done lower one foot down second one down stretch your legs away we're going to go into our roll-ups here so coming up into the arms into the v-like position here now we're going to inhale this time lift the trunk cross the arms in the chest lift feel the sun's pulling you in hug the x, the x shape here pull up into that c curve position okay so my arms in this position now inhale exhale and two work that rectus abdominis rock the pelvis back roll it back roll it back roll it back and then open the arms and that was too hard for you, you can bend the knees here guys now inhale lift and roll up pull up at the exhale okay inhale exhale rock the pelvis back so your rectus abdominis drawing the pelvis into the floor and then lower back and then the mid back and open up if that's still too hard for you guys or too challenging we're going to come up again we're going to grab the back of the thigh here and then pull yourself up okay choose one way that is suitable for you today i'm going to roll it back and open i'm going to stretch my legs i'm going to do two more here inhale x shape arm pull in that center punch into that belly drawing up into that c curve inhale exhale i need to rock that pelvis back print that spine down to the floor and open the arms one last one and inhale lift thing and exhale hug that ribs in hug that belly button in and pull yourself up and coming up here now cross the legs come up onto an all four position a quadruped position okay i'm just going to tighten up here now so shoulders and your hands aligned and your hips and your knees aligned here okay now we're just going to work that transverse abdominus connection in this position so i want to just let the belly out let it hang and then exhale i want you to pull that belly up wrapping that transverse abdominus like a corset like muscles around the waistline okay again in breath exhale and inhale let it go but don't drop that spine okay and exhale just let go of the abdominal wall and exhale and again inhale pelvic floor then the transverse abs comes in 
One more time, inhale and exhale. Okay, hug it in. All right, we're going to then slide the opposite arm and opposite leg. We're gonna stretch the arm and the leg, hold that core in and lift the arm and the leg up. Sl down and slide it back, same side. Arm and leg extend and a lift. And then down, pull it in. Shall we go inhale and exhale. In breath and exhale. In stretch and exhale. And down and exhale. Two more, in stretch, exhale. Hold that center. And last one, inhale and exhale and bring it in, switching. Again, leg off the belly just for a sec, and then pull that belly in, transverse working hard here, the obliques are wrapping in, and then let's stretch the opposite arm and leg here. So, and we take it up, and then bring it down, and then return. So we're gonna inhale, stretch arm and leg, exhale, lift, and then down, and pull it in. And inhale, stretch arm and leg, exhale, and down, and pull it in. So my hip flexors here, it's working, yeah? Lengthening and then contracting and elongating and rich and now contracting. But I'm keeping my spine nice and stable. And my pelvis too. One more time, in breath and lift and back, return. Okay, hold that up for me. Tuck the toes under. Again, in breath, lateral breathing. Exhale, wrap that waistline in with the transverse. I want you to press the hands and the feet down and float the leg. Yep, just hovering the legs off. We're just gonna stay here. Inhale and exhale. Hold the trunk, inhale and exhale. Scoop that abs in, inhale. And exhale. Now you can stay in this position, but if you want a little bit more challenge, you can extend one leg out and then pull in. And then exhale. And then keep that pelvis stable. And exhale. Keep that deep back muscle working here. Elongating, we're stretching out from the tail all the way to the tip of the head. They don't go really that far, but I just want you to get that imagery there. And so I don't want you to clump that shoulder or your flex the spine too much. And again, long back and in. And a long back and in. One more, each side and in. Last one. And in and release down. Good job. Sit back, face the screen, coming onto your elbow. Okay. Now, forearm down waistline inward. You can have your feet stack up like I'm doing, or you can have the top one in front of the bottom one. Either way, choose one is suitable for you. I'm gonna stack my feet together. Okay, transverse working, obliques are working hard here, and your deep back muscles are working as well to support the trunk. Okay, hands here. Let's go into side plank. So we're gonna press up that pelvis, lift. And we go down. Three more. Exhale, lift. And we go down. Two more, lift. And we go down. Last one, lift. And we go down, well done. All right, over to the other side. Okay, so stack the feet or separate them if you wish to. Okay, keeping the waistline hugging into the middle. Nice long spine. Don't slouch for me, please. Reach out and we go. Press the feet, lift. And we go down. And again, lift. And we go down. I'm just gonna adjust my hand here. Right, sorry, making sure that your shoulders and your elbows are aligned, yeah? And again, lift. And we go down. I think we've got one more. And lift. And we go down. Very good. Onto your front, onto your belly here. Now on your hand, 
to be placed just slightly, just underneath the elbow like so. Okay, so stretch your legs away here. Right, so we're talking about the deep back muscle here that takes you into extension. So a chevron like shaped running through the spine, running down and up the spine. Right, so what we need to do is again stretch your legs away, activate those legs muscles, and then pick the pelvic floor muscles up, drawing up, and hold the abdominals. But lift the bones alone. I don't want you to go into flexion like so. Okay, I want you to just hold the abs in, get them ready to support the back. Okay, let's do one more time. Like so, inhale, lateral breathing, and exhale. Lift the spine as in lift the shape of the spine alone. Okay, now, now from there, we're going to draw the shoulders down. So pull it down, elbows reaching down, and then think about that deep back muscle drawing the spine up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up to somewhere in the mid back, and an exhale down. If you can imagine like a chevron like position, like a feather like position, the bottom, the bottom bone, the bottom bone is going to pull the upper vertebra up one at a time to come up into an extension. But your abs is working here and then return down. Okay, so the trans is working, muscles are working, and then the back muscle starts to switch on to lift the trunk into extension and then come down okay and again two more inhale drawing the shoulders down the neck to start articulating up and then one vertebra at a time to your mid back and then down let's do one more time and then inhale to lift the spine up bone by bone and exhale release well done push yourself off sit the pelvis back to your heels and we just stretch here okay well done we inhale breathing the ribs out to the side and an exhale allow the shoulders to melt the pelvis to release down to your heels one more and exhale and we roll the spine up okay thank you for joining me today in a class move with your core i hope to see you in another class there will be two more tutorials on the series of deep dive into pilates we'll be we'll tapping into uh, the neutral pelvis and a neutral spine and alignment have a good day see you later